Hey guys, this is AJ again. So I have to make this video because uh, I've been in this business since 99 and I never ran into the problem after when you flash the BIOS. So this is my first time I ran, I ran into it and a uh, customer walked in, he brought the computer perfectly working and uh, he had a problem with uh, USB 3 drives and uh, I had to fix that and uh, I thought might as well let's update the BIOS and uh, soon when I up, uh, the start updating it restart the computer and I never came back so it was not posting so I tried the many different common things um, you would do it like uh, take the battery out uh, you can shorter the um, pin over here I had to learn this by uh, the motherboard because every manufacturer has a different uh, uh, different way to deal with. Uh, I also um, discovered this one has the uh, Q flash over here, but they were not specifying the which uh, the USB port you should use. It does not have a, uh, any uh, names on it, so you had to try all of them. And uh, the timing also, when you have uh, that kind of indication, when I plugged it, I started with the USB 2s, and uh, there was no indication, so it would press the button here, nothing would happen. So, um, again, I went to the manufacturer's website and I uh, started digging. Uh, the, this one is, by the way, uh, uh, Gigabyte B460M uh, uh, DS3H version 2 BIOS, uh, the motherboard and bias also. So, um, uh, well, start the, with the manual and uh, pull the manual and uh, here is the specifically what you need to do if you ran into that kind of problem. So this one is the, um, uh, when you download the newest BIOS, that's what I did, download it, uh, but I did not use the QFlash method. I used just a USB method uh, from the BIOS. Um, so, um, if you do the Q, uh, Q flash, um, I have not find any videos on the YouTube. Uh, the, the guys who are doing with the USB flash um, the, uh, the, from the BIOS, uh, but the Q flash, nobody's talking about for that particular model because uh, this one has a little bit different because since the uh, USB ports are not marked there. So uh, if you um, if you have the same situation uh, happen to you, uh, what you need to do is the, uh, get the USB drive, format it with a FAT32, re download the newest driver. So at this moment, uh, at this time now, I downloaded the first one what, which broke the computer and uh, now I do downloaded the very first release. So, and I reflashed it and it worked. And the, the way it works is to um, you need to rename the BIOS name. You gotta name it as a gigabyte.bin file, and it gotta be there in the main directory, not in the folder. Okay. So then uh, plug it to the USB port. So uh, this one is totally the picture they're showing you. This is not the uh, the same motherboard we're talking about. But uh, I had to try. Um, I had to try all of the, uh, the USB ports. Um, my first guess was um, uh, the USB 3 would not be um, compatible for the, um, uh, the BIOS flash mode, and I started with the USB 2s. None of them start working. I tried this one, this one didn't work. I tried that one, and that th fourth try was the last one over here, and uh, this is the um, a USB port that's where you need to plug to use the Q flash. Once when you plug it in, you rename the file, you format the hard drive, uh, the flash drive, rename the file, and then you can disconnect, take the graphics card out, uh, the memory modules out, if you wanted to, uh, the, the CPU out, everything out. Just you need the power, plug it in, this one, and uh, uh, the CPU power as well, it's over here. And uh, once when you do that, all you have to do is to press the this Q button, uh, um, Q flash button, and this one will start flashing. And also, your uh, if your um, uh, USB drive has a LED indicator, it will start flashing. So just wait for that. Wait until the flashing will stop, okay? 
then uh, uh, by the way computer will be off but uh, the, it will start flashing and uh, then after a while like um, three minutes later computer will get turned on make sure don't interrupt that uh, process and then um, um, wait until the flashing will stop and then if it when it stops uh, unplug this uh, USB drive and it will give you that kind of warning and once when you uh, unplug that then your motherboard will be ready uh, for posting so right now it's working but it's working on the old um, BIOS I'm gonna try the new BIOS now same thing and uh, we'll give you guys updates so as you can as you guys can see that um, I renamed the bin file this is the new BIOS versus the old BIOS so you, you can see that uh, this one is the F1 original and uh, F24 is the latest one and a gigabyte.bin should gotta be then the main drive so now let's do the uh, same uh, process I repeated that um, I'm gonna be using the sorry guys I was interrupted a few times with the phone okay so um, uh, let's start everything over so since we have this one prepared uh, this flash drive now I'm going to plug it to the same location so as you can see that it's a very first USB 3 port okay so now I'm, I'm not gonna take everything out now uh, memories are installed already graphics card is installed um, and uh, we're gonna just shut down the computer just uh, press the power button and everything is shut down right now so card is plugged in USB card all I have to do is the press this button and uh, let's see what happens it start flashing and uh, this one start flashing as well power is not turned on on the computer of course you don't have anything on the monitor so you gotta wait like um, this process probably takes uh, uh, five to ten, ten minutes and you gotta be patient don't interrupt it don't um, um, you know don't turn it off or anything like that so if you have a UPS battery backup even better so you gotta wait for that so we're doing now the latest BIOS update with the Q flash I will be back after when it's done so after about uh, two minutes later the computer got turned on by itself of course you don't have anything on the display it's flashing there okay it's not done yet so it's still flashing it's flashing uh, slowly now but uh, you see the activity light it's still running there so we gotta wait another five more minutes or so okay in about um, eight minutes it restarted and there we go it's coming back on it restarted again and uh, it's gonna come back again there we go so the reason why it restarted again because it's asking me to remove this one okay I'm going to remove and now I can acknowledge this message and let's see so what does it say here boot failure because I have a disconnected everything so that's fine so hard drives are not connected because I didn't wanna yeah let me uh, let me take the yeah control delete and um, let's uh, delete button I did not do fast enough okay we are back to the business there we go yeah that was the whole dilemma I spent like at least uh, f three four hours on that uh, to figure it out why it was doing like that yeah I, I'm glad that we didn't have to buy the bios uh, I mean the motherboard so all right guys if you have any problems with the computers uh, you more, you're looking for to build a new computer or anything laptops uh, desktops uh, Macs uh, data recovery phone screens all the service uh, we do here in the shop so let us know 
and um, give us a call and uh, we'll start from there. Thank you for watching.